providing farmers with solar-powered irrigation. About 60% of the population in Sub-Saharan Africa consists of smallholder farmers, a region which holds a large portion of the world's unused farmable land. The thing is, most of them face significant obstacles such as low productivity, lack of infrastructure and technology. Smallholder farmers usually generate income by either growing crops or keeping animals, and in both cases it requires water. Consequently, they are dependent on rainfall. But with today's climate crisis, it has become increasingly difficult to predict rainfall. And as a result, farmers lose their crops. In Africa, 80% of families depend on agriculture for their livelihoods, and only 4% have access to irrigation systems. Most of them use the strength of their body to carry the water manually, and sometimes spend almost 17 hours a week to collect water. For those who can irrigate their fields, they usually rely on diesel or petrol pumps that emit large quantities of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. On top of that, most farmers also lack access to reliable and affordable electricity, which holds them from running day-to-day -day appliances and isolates them from the rest of the country. Meet Sun Culture, a company based here in Nairobi, Kenya, that helps small farmers grow food without relying on rainfall, thanks to solar-powered irrigation systems. Sun Culture strives to solve the biggest daily challenges of smallholder farmers. Over the past eight years, they've been developing an off-grid solar technology to provide farmers with reliable access to water, irrigation, lightning, and mobile charging. Their most popular products combine solar-powered water pumping technology with high-efficiency drip irrigation so that farmers can grow more while spending less. So let's see how this works. First, a solar panel is installed on the roof of the farmer's house to harvest the power of the sun, which charges a battery located inside the house. A solar water pump is plugged into the battery and goes directly into the closest water source. It can be a lake, a river, a borehole, a well, or a water harvester. Finally, a pipe comes out of the water source and connects to a sprinkler or drip irrigation system that can cover up to three acres, which corresponds to the size of the average farm in Sub-Saharan Africa. Sun Culture offers a pay-as-you-grow option where farmers have the opportunity to pay up to 40 US dollars a month for 30 months or until the irrigation system is paid off. The full cost ranges from 640 US dollars to 1,200 depending on the product. Sun Culture packages include a first consultation, installation services, training and ongoing customer support. In addition to pumping water for agriculture purposes, Sun Culture products also generate electricity which is a game changer for these communities. On a sunny day, farmers have enough power in the battery to run their water pump for about eight hours, switch on the lights in their house at night, watch TV, and charge multiple devices. Having a consistent and reliable source of water means farmers can provide for their family, improve their livelihoods, and thrive in their communities. Sun Culture is currently the largest solar pump distributor in Sub-Saharan Africa positively impacting tens of thousands of smallholder farmers across Kenya and most recently Ethiopia, Uganda and Togo. Farmers that are using Sun Culture products are receiving an increase in their income by up to 10 times, as well as an increase in average yield by 5 times. Additionally, they are reducing their water usage by 80% and saving up to 17 hours of work each week. Between 2017 and 2021, Sun Culture has prevented more than 67 million liters of diesel and petrol from being used, and over the next seven years, co-founder Samir Ibrahim estimates the business will help reduce over 3 million tons of CO2 from being released in the atmosphere. The work of smallholder farmers is often invisible to us, but let's bear in mind that they not only feed us, but also take care of our natural resources. That's a wrap for today. Stay tuned for the next episode.